Hello, hello. Happy Thursday, whether you're in the middle of the day or in the morning. Um, I just want to take a minute and we've now hit the middle of June, halfway in between when I sent the uh, June 1st countdown, um, seeing how to get everything that I need for my visa and getting home back to stateside in uh, nine days now. The countdown continues. Um, so yeah, I just want to take a minute this morning and let you know how everything's going. And um, actually in the last 10 days since I posted, I've had um, 400 pounds come in. It's been awesome to just see God providing a lot from uh, people here in church that I've been working with or previous students or um, connections uh, like with the youth group on Sunday morning. They had kind of a celebration send off for the next couple of months that I'll be uh, in the States and gave me an offering as well. So it's just been amazing to see God providing in pounds, uh, knowing that I need pounds to pay for the visa. Um, so really exciting to see the the rest of the provision coming in, um, which uh, is now 900 pounds that I need, which is about 1,400 US dollars. So um, I'm loving just trusting God and seeing uh, his provision as a dad and his provision as a faithful um, provider, I think. Um, and just different people, a, a few students from like previous DTSs who read my newsletters and stuff, just really being able uh, to give and sow seeds into um, what's happening here uh, and just receiving nice emails and comments and encouragement and just knowing that kind of every every day and every step is is pouring into people's lives. So even as this is a physical number that I'm, I'm needing to come to a, a reality with paperwork for the UK. Um, it's so much more than that um, because this, this piece of paper, this money that's going to go toward a visa actually allows for me to continue uh, working out the call and the, the passion that God has put in my heart, which is training and equipping people, uh, young people, older people, church people, uh, people who haven't met God yet. Um, so it's been just awesome to see God's faithfulness in providing for the call that he has spoken so clearly um, through the passions he's placed in me originally. So uh, that's kind of the financial side of the countdown. And then also it's just been great to, about a week ago, I was able to talk to um, the missions pastor at my church uh, back in Memphis and I'm confirmed to share in a couple of Sunday school classes and just be able to update people on what's happening here. And also, um, what else? Um, also be able to share like at a staff luncheon and building connections with, with the church I grew up in, that my parents are still a part of and uh, finding out that I get to go and on a, the beach summer trip with the youth and just be able to pour out and share and just bless in whatever way. I'm just excited to see kind of the, the puzzle pieces that God is bringing together and the, the doors that are open for those eight weeks. Um, so yeah, part of it is it's going to be spontaneous and part of it's going to be planned. So um, I also have the, the kind of provision on the other side. I, I don't know if you know, when I was in university, I worked with a babysitting agency. So I've been in contact with, with my boss from years ago, and she's going to be able to, to get me jobs for those weeks that I'm home. So also being able to work a bit while I can. So, um, yeah, it's just amazing to see how everything's coming together and closing out, um, different uh, responsibilities and things here and making sure that um, things are going to continue to run smoothly, especially a lot of the administration stuff and computer stuff that are that is in my brain um, and needing to be kind of fanned out so that other people can can take up the torch and continue working faithfully to help things run. So um, it's been great to release a lot of that um, and yeah, just continue to press in. And um, one of the things that was amazing just seeing God kind of show the different seasons of each time that I've gone home um, and the, the different processes that I've been in each season. So if you remember back in 2013 when I brought the YWAM team home, that was the first time I had been back. Um, and just having the opportunity to bring a team of Europeans primarily and, and do outreach and do um, things in the midst of Ellendell Baptist and also Central Church and different connections. I remember we shared at Jonathan's University at Northeast and Boonville, Mississippi, and um, just the doors that got opened and the, the relationships, you know, that people still from Memphis asked me about those people that were in the team. And it's just kind of crazy to think that that is the connection and the relationships that 
were continued from two years ago. And, and to see this time now is a little bit shorter, but I feel like it's going to be a powerful time and I'm getting the privilege. Um, in the end of July, we have a, a reunion planned with all of our family from Texas and getting to see aunts and uncles and cousins. And um, yeah, it's just really exciting. And then one of my cousins is, is going to help me out with a ticket to get back to Texas for at least a week, hopefully while I'm um, back and just being able to take every advantage um, of, of this time and and see what exciting things are coming. So yeah, I'll keep you posted and count down with me. It's nine days and uh, financially 900 pounds, 1,400 US dollars and we'll get that together. So hopefully tonight, tomorrow, um, probably tomorrow actually, I'm going to just post another update of practical things that have been happening and different ministry opportunities that are coming for the next season that you can pray into as we're moving forward. Um, so yeah, that'll be great. So this was more focused on stateside. So excited to see you soon. Bye.